I've had this painting hanging in my house for a few years, and lately I've gotten kind of tired of it. So I thought, why not just pull it off the wall and paint over it and make something new? So I started by giving it a coat of primer, just a can of spray flat primer, to give me a nice clean surface to paint on. And while that was drying, I went and gathered up all of my odds and ends of paint and brushes and such, and I found a jar of old spackling that I thought maybe adding that to the canvas might give it a little bit of interesting texture. So I smeared some across the bottom and top of the canvas. And of course, let it dry. Three hours later. After it was all dry, I found a picture that I thought I would use as inspiration for my painting, just by searching for some royalty-free stock footage online. And I mixed up a dark brown color with some brown and blue and black until I got a nice dark color and just painted that across the bottom of the canvas making sure to fill in all the texture and cracks around the spackling. And I did the same thing with the top of the canvas with some blues and whites and yellows and making sure to keep the, the light, the um, color lighter toward the horizon of the painting. Once that was all dry, I added a second layer of color just by streaking some green and blue and black across the, the grass part of the, the picture. And in the sky portion, I did the same thing with some other colors, some grays, whites, blues, a little pink here and there, making sure to keep my my brush strokes going the same direction horizontally the entire time. I even use my palette knife occasionally and just kind of scrape some big globs of paint across it. And then once that was all dry again, I mixed up a a yellow color to kind of mimic the yellow grass color that was in the, the original picture, and painted another layer of color over the, the grass in the picture. Then I added some white to give some highlight area and some browns for some shaded areas as well. Just blending it all out. And then using a sponge I blocked in the shape of the tree that was in the original inspiration picture as well. Just dabbing it in some yellows and mix some browns and whites in there as well. You add some green and some red and some spots. Once I had the shape the way I, I wanted it, I made sure to highlight where the light was coming from and then added a trunk with my palette knife. And some shading on the side of the tree as well. And once I had the tree the way I liked it, I touched up some of the grass, added some more shaded areas and lighter areas, making sure to put a, a shade area for the tree. And there you have it, there's the final product.